picture the scene. You've just finished building your first, or maybe tenth gaming PC. You're ready to hit the power button for the first time. The excitement is flowing. Will it even boot? What happens after this? Does it just work? Ah, wait. How about we make a coffee first? This is gonna take a little while. Coffee is therapy. PC building is also therapy. Setting up the PC for the first time, however, not so much. Let's make sense of it the easy way. First things first, let's check the monitor cable is plugged in the right place. An easy mistake to make, so let's plug it into the graphics card and not the motherboard. Right, now we're ready to hit the power button. So, embrace the moment, savor it. There we go. Now, stand back and marvel at your work. Wait, the screen is black. What the heck? Did I do something wrong? Ah, I need to install Windows. So how do you do this part? Well, there's a couple of ways. This can be done either by creating a bootable USB from Microsoft website, but that will require another computer, or head to eBay or Amazon and buy one. They are super cheap either way. So let's shut the PC down again, we're going to insert the USB drive into the rear port and then restart the PC. This should solve that problem. But in the meantime, it makes sense to get back to the coffee while we give it a few moments to cycle and reboot. There we go, Windows installation screen. The first part is really simple. Choose your language, time, currency, and keyboard input depending on where you are in the world, then simply hit next and install. At this point you're going to be asked for an activation key, if you don't have one yet, simply select I don't have a product key. This bootable drive gives me multiple operating systems to choose from, but I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro then hit next. Incoming terms and conditions, yeah yeah we agree. <laughs> Now we have the choice of upgrade or custom. We'll choose custom as it's a fresh installation of Windows. And then we're going to select the hard drive for which to install Windows on and click next. And now we're going to have to wait for a short while for Windows to install and do its thing. Time to consume that coffee we prepared earlier? I think so too. The final stages of setting up Windows is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to be asked a series of questions, passwords, and things like that. Not all motherboards will have working Wi-Fi straight out of the box. So, now is the point for you to connect the Ethernet cable if you haven't already. I'm going to use this USB Wi-Fi dongle to make my life easier in the studio. Quickly drop in the password, and away we go to the next stages. As I mentioned a moment ago, these upcoming steps are multiple choice and totally your decision to make. I'll just zip through them for the purposes of the video as it won't add any value to discuss them here. Ultimately, the choices that you make will help with setting up for your own requirements. Now, it's just time to wait. And there we go, we've successfully installed Windows 10 Pro. I know gaming is a priority right now, but it's really important to follow a few steps to ensure that the PC is optimised first. And let's kick things off with Windows updates. These are crucial. Head to the search bar and type updates, then you'll see the check option at the top. Let's go ahead, click and go to the updates page. Now we can see what the PC needs. And as you can see, there is a lot. So let's maybe grab a fresh coffee and wait again. I'd also like to make a point that the order I'm doing this has been the best and most effective way to make sure that the RGB lighting, software and drivers all communicate properly later. This is something that gets overlooked in the rush to simply play some games, but patience, as always, will pay off. 
And with the updates done, now it's time to restart the PC and get those finalised. It's perfectly normal for the PC to restart multiple times during this stage. Just leave it to do its thing and take a moment to stare at your new PC or similar because why not? <laughs> now it's time to log in again so we can move to the next part, which is going to be installing GeForce Experience. This will update your graphics drivers for your PC and optimise them for your graphics card. Later, you will also be able to use GeForce Experience to optimise games too. If you're using a Radeon GPU, the process would be very similar, except with AMD's Adrenaline software. So now we've downloaded it, let's get the install in process, which may take a few minutes. Once the installation process has finished, you're going to need to either create an account or sign into an existing account. And then head to drivers you'll see that the latest game ready driver is available. So go ahead and get that one downloaded and underway. Once the latest game ready driver has been downloaded, you're going to be presented with two options, express or custom. I always choose custom so that we can ensure that there's a perfectly clean graphics driver in place. With that noted, on the next screen, check the Perform a clean installation box, then continue to click install. This will set the correct drivers, and as before, your screen may flicker a few times during the process. And now that the drivers are done, it's time to restart the PC so the changes can be applied. Well, that was pretty easy and effortless, as I'm sure you'll agree. Which leads us to the next step, making sure your display refresh rate has updated. It doesn't always do this automatically, which can leave you playing, for example, at 50Hz on a 144Hz monitor. So if we right click the desktop and head to display settings, scroll to the bottom and find advanced display settings. Click this and you will see refresh rate. Mine automatically defaulted to 240Hz, which is correct, so be sure to choose the one which reflects the monitor that you are using too. Now, for those of you who are using RGB lighting, you will need to download the software for the brand that you're using. In this instance, it's ASUS, so I'll be downloading Armory Crate, which has both RGB control along with additional drivers and performance tuning. The software can be found on the ASUS website by simply googling it, so let's go ahead and get that downloaded. We're going for the framework package as this will automatically identify the rest of the ASUS hardware installed. Software downloaded, now let's install Armory Crate by clicking start. The installation process is quite long for this and you will need to click a few things during that time. So. Grab that coffee again and wait. Or, alternatively, play some guitar. Whatever gets you in the moment. <laughs> Armory Crate, done. Let's open the app and see what's happening. First of all, we want to go to the settings cog at the bottom left, followed by update center, which is at the top. Now you can see a list of updates to install. I always choose the ones which I feel will be most needed, so right now that would be the Tough Gaming Z790 update. So let's do that. This has automatically updated a few of us too, which is helpful. Next we're going to aim for the Aura Sync tab at the top left. This will take us to the RGB setting page. By default, they are all synchronised, which is fine with me, as I like to keep a single colour palette. In Aura Effects, we can choose our RGB settings. As always, this is totally your choice, but it's always fun to cycle through and see what can be done. You can always turn off the lighting here too if you wish. I'm going to choose the light blue for this build, which I think complements the hardware and it looks awesome. Just as you thought we were finished, 
you've minimized the page and oh no, the dreaded watermark of doom. So Windows activation key time. For over 18 months, I've turned away sponsors for software keys because it doesn't fit my content. The one time it does, such as now, it's still not sponsored. So I guess I'll give you my non-biased, honest thoughts. I buy my software keys from CJS CD keys. It's literally an immediate delivery and the cost is not high. As this is not an ad, I'll keep it short but I will always say Google search and find whatever's cheapest. Saving money is key. Activating Windows is very simple. Collect the software key from wherever you purchased it, copy the key, then simply search your PC for activation and the settings page will pop up. Select change product key and paste in your new Windows code and hit next. Then just like that, Windows is activated at a fraction of the price of buying one off the shelf, so to speak. So those are the basics in the correct order to get you up and running. The next step would be to install your chosen game software, such as Steam, download the games you want and start playing. That only took a couple of hours, but the PC looks epic, the performance is optimised, well, Let's go. Oh yeah, as this video isn't sponsored, I thought I'd try something new. The PC I built for this video is for sale. You can buy it. The sale is unfortunately limited to the UK only on this occasion, but hit the link in the description for more details. Time for a cinematic? Well, it'd be rude not to.